All right, so here we are. As I got down back into the Reddit, the deep, dark pit. You know what? Reddit always brings me a little bit of sunshine every day um, because it does show me what's going on in the world. You know, I've always tried to keep up, and Reddit is my news source. Of course, I could go to Fox. Of course, I could go to your... Uh, your See, I don't even know that many Fox things. But I could go to your local news, your locals, my, even read my newspaper like my grandfather. But no, I'd rather use Reddit because that's what soothes my soul. Let's get into this. So you don't accept cash and you made my sandwich and you're just going to throw it away. I didn't know you were going to pay cash. Can I just have my sandwich? Then? No, I'm not going to risk my job for you. You're going to what? I'm not going to risk my job for you. Because you don't accept money? No, because you can't pay. So I started going crazy. So the man said I he can't accept cash. He said, so I kind of got my sandwich. Hey, sir. <clears throat> I don't know if you heard me correctly. I said, we don't accept cash. Can I get my sandwich? How the hell can you get your sandwich, sir? If we don't accept cash and you only have cash. Okay, I made that apparent. When you walked in, there was a sign that said, we do not accept cash. If you walk in here with cash, that's going to be your... Hold on. Hold on. I have cash. Yeah, I mean, can't accept it today, as I told you. Oh, this so, is going to be funny for your manager. <laughs> I, yeah, they're not going to do anything for you. You what? They're not going to do anything for you. I can't accept cash today. I'm not going to give you a free sandwich and miss my job for you. So you can go ahead and leave. Talk to my manager if you want. They're not going to do a damn thing for you. You can talk to them all you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you don't accept cash. Just today, as I said, circumstances. You can't give out change today, so I'm not allowed to accept cash today. <laughs> so this idiot is going to now try to be Mr. I'm that guy and say, hey, <laughs> how do you feel about this young man? Talking to somebody else who is enjoying their sandwich that they bought with their debit card or credit card. Instead, he thinks he's going to get a great response. I don't know why he asked this question. Maybe he's high. Maybe he's had too much duster. I don't know. But all I do know is that I, you know, I will get into it. We'll get into it. Let me, let me calm down. Woo! Blood about to boil. I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay. Sweet tanks for cash today. What? I'm not trying to kick you out. I like said you just. No, you're fine. I, I just don't know how to handle this situation. I've been waiting years for this to happen. For what to happen? This exact moment, it just blows my mind. Now, does he? That that sound like a? Does they sound like a normal response to anybody? He said, "I've been waiting years for this to happen." It blows my mind. It is effing comical, utterly. Anybody who uses the word "utterly," this is utterly despicable. This is. Utterly. Anybody who says that, there's something wrong with them. They need to go to therapy. Okay? As soon as you hear somebody say, utterly, you already know. Oh, so you're crazy. That's all I think. Oh, you're insane. You're insane to ask for this. I want to enjoy it a little bit. Here you go. Tap on your screen. Oh, can I have that? That's the receipt from the order. This is actually going to us. This is the cancel order. Yeah, yeah, can I have that though? No. Why not? This will go in the back. We need it for our records. For what? For our records. Your records of what? You idiot! When an order gets canceled, guess what? They keep records of that. Do you know why? Because if employees didn't have to keep can't keep records of things being canceled, they could simply ring up a sandwich and cancel it and eat it themselves. But if you have records of things being canceled, if you've ever worked in an establishment such as that, you know. You know that when things get canceled, they have to keep records of that for inventory purposes, for audit purposes, and to make sure your employees aren't stealing. But obviously, you're a bumbling buffoon. You don't understand that simple concept. I'm trying to keep it together so y'all can enjoy this video, but just be ready. Be ready. Be on guard, my friends. You keep everything in record for all canceled orders. Okay. okay. What did he say? We have to keep records of all canceled orders. For all canceled orders. Uh, digital currency. It's really screwed over America, hasn't it? Bro, get on with your life. Thank you. Thank you for that. That was the that was the epitome. I'm not gonna lie. 
you know, my big body self. I'm not going to lie. If that's me. Uh, nah, I wouldn't eat it. Only because you have to keep record of cancel orders and that guy would be pissing me off. But back in the day, this is new Trey. I'm competitive Trey. Okay. I take life serious now. But two years ago, I would have ate that whole time, bro. He threw some extra toppings on there. Fuck it. Well, that's what the climax was. You know, the story. Again, I do apologize today. It makes a cash favor. All right, Carlson, this is the part. So this is, I totally skipped the whole part for you guys. There's the part where he talks to the guy in the back. Yeah, here hey, we go. You. you ever heard of anything like this? I mean, yeah, yeah. No, when it's uh, the system down and everything, it's like, yeah, it's just policy. That's <laughs> <laughs> So the man said this policy. The man said this policy. He's eating his sandwich. Probably with a girl that he likes. You know what that young man should have said, though? Instead of even bringing up anything about sandwiches, he said, if, if you're too broke, broke boys don't deserve no pussy. I know that's right. That's all he could have had to say in the conversation and have been over. Except for just replace the word pussy with sandwich. Should have just been, broke boys don't deserve no sandwiches. And then the rest of the crew goes, I know that's right. And then this whole conversation ends. On a serious note, I do get upset with people who do who treat people like this. I understand. Like I said, it sounds like this guy's intoxicated. He's a weirdo. Something's going on in his head. But I don't understand why people feel... I know what... Now, you know what? I do know why people treat fast food employees like this. Here's the first thing. One reason people uh, treat people like fast food fast food employees uh, like they're at the bottom because their lives fucking suck. Right? It's the people that go home to an empty house, darkness, and a dog. And that's it. They know their life sucks. They can't stand to look themselves in the mirror. So the only thing they can do to try to make themselves feel a little bit bigger is to fuck with people when they're at work. These fast food employees, because they feel like they're above them, right? And they're pissed off that even a fast food employee can be like, hey, sir, how's your day going today? They get pissed off that the fast food employees even smile because they're like, you have nothing to smile about. Your life sucks. And some fast food employees, uh, or some of them make great money. But people can't stand that shit because they go to work every day and they know they get treated like shit or they know that their job is just as bad, right? Their job is ass. They go to job and wake, make $10 an hour and they answer phones and they hate it so much. But some part of them feels like they're high, on a higher plane because they're not a fast food employee. If you don't set your stupid ass up, because... I said, shut up, and the Siri came on. Because too many of y'all... Here, you need to put it over there. Too many of y'all think that you matter. That you're important when you walk into a fast food establishment. Like, they're waiting on you. Hands, they're on their knees, praising you as a king because your fat ass walked into a Burger King. No! Nobody cares about that. They're going to make your burger... They're going to go home and do what the hell they do. They do not care that you're in there. They do not think you're better than them. I've worked in fast food. It's not that crazy. I one time worked at fast food and had some, well, I didn't, I, my manager one time had somebody put mustard on a bun and throw it in somebody's, it threw it in the manager's face. In the manager's face. I've had people yell at me. It's just insane. It's just people want to feel a little bit of glimpse of happiness in their life. And they said, I'm going to go jack mess with this individual who's a fast food restaurant because I'm so much better than he is. I'm up here on my throne, King Charles II. No, you're not. You're just a pathetic loser who feels like you have to step on people to make your measly ass feel better. When you know you're, see, fast food people, shout out to David Goggins again. Fast food employees, they bring out people's inner bitch, right? 
they bring out those those the insecurities in people for some reason. For some reason, when somebody's working fast food and they're just living their life, people get insecure. Like, uh, I need, I need, I need him to feel bad. I need him to not feel good about his job. I remember one time I was, I, I used to clean toilets, right? A man came up to me and I hate, I don't hate him, but I dislike him to this day. He said, don't you ever want to do something better with your life? It's like, motherfucker, I'm making more money than I've ever made before. Even though this is, I'm cleaning toilets, I, I made less at my last job. What the hell do you mean? Do I need something better for my life? Who the, but people just feel like they, and this man ain't making that much money. This man is not making that much money. Okay. I know how much this man's making. He is not no millionaire. He ain't no six figure man either. He not even above average. He just barely there. But see, it doesn't matter. It's the same way that we see some people look down on plumbers when plumbers make good money. Same way we see people look down on people who fix rules because, oh my God, they're just <clears throat> blue collar people. I could never shut your call center answering, making sales for Spectrum ass up. You don't know what you're talking about. You go back to your little thing and say, hello, thank you for calling Spectrum. How many? That's what your ass need to be worried about doing. Don't worry about somebody who's making your burger. Okay. I'm just going to go insane if I keep going. That's all I got. Let me know what you think. I'm going. Peace.